Good morning and welcome to another edition of Tanya in Your Kitchen. This morning I'm doing an impromptu video of how to make moi moi, therefore I am not wearing any makeup, but that's fine, you get to see my face natural. Um, so I'm going to go through the process of how I make moi moi and I will post a, um, a short recipe on my YouTube channel and as well on my Instagram, um, not the story part but the actual post, so yeah, so I hope you enjoy. So to make moi moi, you start with um, a bell pepper, um, a habanero pepper or a scotch bonnet, but I have habanero, so I'm going to use that, and an onion. So you'll need one onion, one bell pepper, and um, one to two, maybe three hot peppers, depending on what you like. Um, I had a little bit of extra pepper left over and some uh, red onion from another um, recipe, so I'm just going to put this all in my blender. I'm going to just quickly chop this and then we'll move on to the next part. So I'm just gonna lightly just chop this a little bit. And that's about good. And then we are going to get our bean flour. I like to use bean flour, but you can use um, beans and make it like from, from beans and, but I find the bean flour is so much quicker and easier to use. And um, yeah, we will use some, put some bean flour in there with some stock and hot water and blend it a little bit more. Um, I have pre-cooked some hard boiled eggs as well. So um, we'll be using that in the moin moin as well. So I have two and a half cups of bean flour, a half cup of hot water, my ground up peppers, the hot pepper and the, and the bell pepper and onion and some stock, about half a cup, but it's a little bit less than that, but I've got more, so I'll add to that once I put it all in. So I'm gonna put that all in my blender, blend it up until it's kind of a, a paste, and then let it sit for about 20 minutes. So I have all my ingredients in my blender now, so I'll just put the lid on, and just blend it up. that down a bit just to kind of try and get it all blended up and then I'll let it sit for 20 minutes. So I've let my my bean paste with the peppers and the onion sit for 20 minutes so it's nice um, in there and I'm going to transfer to my bowl and once I do that I'm going to put I have about um, a little bit less than half a cup of uh, smoked crayfish here I'm going to blend that up with about half a cup of oil, some salt, and a mega cube, and then we're gonna fold it into the bean paste. So here is my my bean paste, and then this is the crayfish with the mega cube and the salt, and I'm just gonna blend that up and I will add it into here. So this is my oil, uh, the crayfish, and the mega cubes and the salt all blended up. I did add a bit more water, because we do want this paste to be more like a smoothie consistency and not too thick. So I might be adding some water to this as well so that it can be a little bit uh, thinner. So you want it more like this consistency here that I'm pouring out. Uh, so I'll probably add a bit of water to this as well. So this is everything added all together. And actually this is a pretty good consistency. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of water to the, this just to kind of get the rest of the... The mixture out of there and add it to here because this is still maybe just slightly too thick it's it's pretty good but almost uh, needs to be a little bit a little bit thinner so when you cook your moi moi it's not too dense so this is our paste i probably added about maybe like an extra cup of water to this and that's a good smoothie consistency here um so that looks good so what we're gonna do now is i don't have traditional moi moi cups but I do have some ramekins I just bought from the dollar store. We'll use those, six of those. And then I have six um, just of these um, glass um, cups. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put like half an egg into each one of these on the bottom. And we'll pour in our paste over top. Then we'll wrap these in some tin foil and we'll put them in um, about, uh, put them in a pot on the stove with some water 
and we will let these steam. So with each of the cups, I actually just um, put a little bit of oil on each of them just to help them it not stick. Um, so, but this is what it looks like. I just put like half a, an egg in each one. And then we are going to pour this over top until they're full. So the cups are filled. So I've filled them to about here. I'm gonna wrap them in foil. Traditionally, it would be wrapped in, I think like banana leaves, but this is much easier and quicker and I think less messy and easier to store. So this is the way I did it. So here are my foil wrapped uh, ramekins and I'm gonna put them in a pot with some boiling water. So here's my pot. I've got some water on the bottom just to cover the bottom and I'm gonna put these in here so that these can steam. And we'll just stack these in here nicely and we'll kind of try and space these out. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn on my pot and we're gonna steam these. So for about half an hour, I'll just put the lid on and let this steam and then watch the water level to make sure that there's still some water in the bottom. So this is the Moi Moi steaming here. Ooh, quite steamy there. So um, check the water level, it's good. And yeah, we'll just let it sit for another 20 so this has been actually about 45 minutes. I seem to always <clears throat> underestimate how long it takes to cook, but I had somebody test one already and they seem to be done. So I'll this hopefully done like that and we'll check it. Just like that. And there's an egg in the middle of it there too. So yeah, they're done. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tanya in Your Kitchen. Uh, watching how I make moi moi. It's actually very simple, very easy, and you can kind of add what you want to it. As long as you get your bean paste, um, kind of that smoothie consistency, you can add whatever you want to it. So um, but yeah, it's super easy and um, it's just a little time consuming in that it takes a while to, for it to cook. But um, yeah, I hope you, if you've never tried it before, I hope you get a chance to try it and I hope you enjoy the recipe.